Wednesday morning. I stopped here last night because everywhere else was full. But look, I'll show you that. Better. There's a wall here and it's built in a curve. Like, look, like it must be like a walled garden. Let's see the curves in it. Now, I think when they do that, they can take up less bricks because they're just a single skin of brick rather than two layers of brick. But it looked like it's a lot longer, so do you think it'd use more bricks on there? Right, we're back in the car now, going round. Amtec machinery, which everyone still calls Ellis machinery. This is a subsoiler corner. You can see more stuff from yesterday in the video. It's just acres and acres and acres of machinery. And of auto casters there as well. Well, I've got one of them. Similar. Right, now, we've got the, I believe the, the 828 has been sold, I think. No horse chaser been there. I presume that's 16 someone, it says 160 on it. I'd like a big 30 ton one, so it's, it's easy to empty after the combine. Simidis there. I can't even count how many trailers there are in. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. There must be about forty trailers in this yard. You can hire them out as well, as you can see. Then that's a that's a sumo, but trailed, so that's like ours, but I think three and a half meter. I don't know how you get it down the road though, that's the problem. Vehicle will shut down unless brake is pressed. Let's go in EV mode. It's saying it's flat. Oh, is it because I've not got my seatbelt on in the yard? Vehicle, I don't know why it's doing that. Vehicle will shut down unless brake is pressed to start engine. I don't know, I think it's because it's getting confused with the electric mode. Let's just move that fluff out of the way. Now that's a trailed tri trio as well, but that doesn't fold, does it? That looks like it's a four meter one. Trailer there ready to be washed. More trailers, a dump trailer a bit like ours, but gray. Some Baileys. Now this is what I was looking at. This top down. You see better there. So it's like, it's like our disc, but then it's got legs on the back and then a packer. The thing is though, would the Zerion or the 936 pull it? The car suddenly started up. Hey, they've got combine in. New Holland. What is it? 80 TX, is it? TX 34. Big, big forage wagon. No, it's not, it's not got a thing on the front. It's just a silage trailer that's got a belt in the back for for discharging the material. I thought it was a forage wagon, but it'd have a pickup rail on the front if it did, wouldn't it? Oh, sumo we kind of thing. Another. Hyena. So that's four of them. I'm sure they've got four in, but I think he did say they sold two this week. A load of irrigation equipment. We won't be needing that for a few weeks. Or months. Some rotivators. Sabre tine weaving. That's a low, low disturbance direct drill they are, really. Is that a wood chipper I've just seen? There's a wood chipper there with a crane. What's that there? I'm 
should have one of them as a spare. So move DTS. A load of ploughs. More drills. Oh, that folds up neat, doesn't it? That six metre power arrow drill combination. I presume there must be a front tank to go with that. Another weaving drill. A couple of big ploughs there. putting the silage sides back on these trailers. Nice dow as well there. Wouldn't they be interested in a nice 10 for a dow as well against that top down. couple of combination drills in there they'll disappear if it carries on wet this September got a class rate there and a little uh, John Deere 30-40 another combination drill there a couple of them Oh, that's a beast, isn't it? That size of that topper. It's huge, isn't it? Hey, you need a big tractor for that, wouldn't you? Another topper. Grass mower. It's that low loader trailer there, so. Tom Lamb, if anyone watches on YouTube, he's built a, uh, oh, why is it not focusing? He's got a shepherd's hut on the top of one of them, which is a good idea. Farm shop would always be good on one, wouldn't it? Or a cafe by the shore at Bill and Joe's. You could bring it in every night. We'll go down a Simba Culti Press alley. of rollers at the back there. Clayton four meter. I think you saw that yesterday actually. It's the maze drill. That was a bit of a whistle stop tour today and yesterday of LS Machinery, so big thanks to them for letting me have a bit of a mooch around. It's a bit like a toy box uh, or a toy shop. There's so much stuff here. I just wonder if you counted up all the drills and all the cultivation equipment, how big a farm you could farm with this equipment. Obviously, you need the tractors to go with it, but there must be, I don't know, 40 drills here all around six metres. If you work that out and then same with all the tillage equipment and the grain trailers and everything. I reckon you could farm a whole county with the machinery in this yard. Same one, we'll have a guess. Maybe they want to look through the online leaflet, count how many drills they've got, times it by the meters and work it out. <laughs> Give you something to do. Yeah, so thanks again anyway to the Jason and Tristan that were showing me around and um hope you enjoyed it i know last year i did a video when i was up this way and loads of people did so that's why i've come come to have a look 
that was a long NFU meeting at Stonely. Anyway, head for home now. But there's a turf show on. I might go and see if I can catch up with the guy from Machinery Nation because he's here doing a turf show at the uh, Stonely Park. Yeah, we'll have a little mooch what's going on here. We're like a robotic mower working there. Look at this here. It's a Corvus with a drill on the back. It's good that, isn't it? So they're 56 volt. 56 volt. 56 volt. This machines. is a guy from Machinery Nation. We're going to have a race on these 56 volt ride on lawn mowers. Yeah. So they're going to be pretty silent, aren't they? Yeah, they pretty much are silent, yeah. yeah. So you can cut the lawn at 6 o'clock on a Sunday morning and not wake people up? Exactly that. But... <laughs> it sounds like a bumper car though. I wanted to go in the wrong way then. Right, it's going to do a bit of an Looking, you can put so you can put six batteries in, but it'll just run on two if you want. Yeah, so you've got to have a minimum of two batteries in to get it to run a minimum of 15 amps of battery. Um, but it'll take you yeah, six batteries and 12 amp hour batteries in each one, so you can go up to about sort of two and a half acres on one cut. Two and a half acres well, on a set of batteries. I don't know what's, what's the um, that's, that's a similar. Four acres of runtime. That's mental. Why does it not go into travel mode? 52 yeah. inch done, it stays in, it's only in full speed. All right. Go on then, see how fast it goes. We have a go on this in a minute, but this is the 52 inch zero turn for me, Dave. Yeah. You want some grass left? That's a beast. I think Ollie's going to have a go on this one. Right, so Ollie's gonna have a go now. Same as the skids did, dude. <laughs> He's already a better driver than me. <laughs> and he nearly crashed. I think I'll get off the Everyone, there you go, guys. You nearly saw Ollie crash. It is more responsive than a Bobcat, you're right. Yes, this is, <laughs> this, is, this is when you put your ground on it, so Ollie's in control mode now. It's only the levers. It still goes, it'll still do the same speed, but it's the, it's how reactive the levers are. Yeah, I don't think I trust myself, you know, like, you know, like a, on a bank of a pond or something. They're, they're easier to use on, on bank than that. Yeah, I mean, so like, guys, full ego range. <laughs> Make sure you um, check out ego products if you're looking for something battery powered for your garden. Maybe. Cool, okay, Maybe. Oh, right.
That's got, that's like an F1 steering wheel on this one. It's got a paddle shift as well. Is that a real carbon fibre? Yeah. <laughs> it's of, yeah, paddle shift just to reverse. So when you want to go into reverse, you can just literally pull your Click it back. Your hand back and go in reverse. Right, so them batteries, you can take out your mower, stick them in a leaf blower or a strimmer or something else that, that if you're packing it all the way, pressure washer. But the best thing about it is your garage won't stink all year round of petrol and at a petrol can because you, you've got not got anything in your garage, have you? You've just got an electric thing and then you don't have to go to the garage to get the petrol in the can to make your car smell. You can just have an electric mower and they're the same... Similar price, did you say, to a, a petrol one? Similar price to a petrol now. For a yeah. decent petrol mower, for a decent battery product, there is a great deal of difference. But you sell them on your website as well? Uh, on Hayes Machinery. We Hayes do, Machinery. Only locally. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you live in Devon, is it? Yeah. Is there you go. Yeah. That, thank, thanks for them to let me have a go anyway in a race. Check them out. So the people that make the ride on mowers now make like little replacement battery engines to go on. Edge cutter. Edge cutters. Self propelled. Scarifier. Scarifier. Chipper. Ed, uh, uh, yeah. Shredder is the right name. Shredder. Shredder. Yeah. And then we have also a walk behind blower. Oh, a big Oh, is that no, here? It's not, it's not oh. here because the prototype is in Switzerland. And then I have also the Scarifier, not self propelled. Right. So. Ah. Nice that remote control track mower that's on this stand. Machinery Nation have done a video on it and been just driving it into stuff. Trees. It is fairly invincible. You go <laughs> anywhere. The beauty of that compared to like the one with a flail on the front is that you've got the capability to be able to go forward and back on a slope. Yeah. So rather than a flail, you'd have to turn the machine around at one end. Right, and come yeah, back yeah, the other yeah. Way. With that, you can just go forward and reverse all the way along the bank. Yeah, yeah. How many power? How, what is it, 20 horsepower? 27. 27 horsepower. Picking up 700cc. Looks mean, doesn't it? That's a Saxon machine. Right, special guest on the birthday bump. <laughs> <laughs> There's some strange names on there, so I'm glad I'm not reading out. But James from Machinery Nation is going to do this today's birthday bumper. These names, Off had, you go. these names had to come out on the day that I read this, isn't it? So we've got Tom Prince, who's 17, happy birthday. We've got Barb Dwyer, who's 46, not sure what that name is, Emma Tipple, who's 33. We've got Annette Curtin, Annette Curtin, who's 69. Daniel Harrison, who's 35. Robin Patterson, we don't know their age, but happy birthday. And Richard Careless, who's 51. So happy birthday to you all. Yeah, I think we're about 46 odd thousand pound now. So yeah, happy Thanks. birthday everyone on there and anyone, if that is your real name, we feel sorry for you. <laughs> but happy <laughs> sorry, birthday. I'm sorry we took good laugh at it, but yeah. Annette, Barb and Emma, congratulations. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I didn't realise Corvus were, so I had to catch up with them. James from Machinery Nation had a race on some electric mowers. Not a bad afternoon in the end. Anyway, go on at the M motorway now and see how long it takes me to get home. Back at HQ. Two and a half hours in the car. Look at this. The lads have done an amazing job of cleaning the combine while I've not been here. Look how shiny it is. I don't know how we keep it that shiny, taking it to Cheshire Plowing Match, but... Oh, they <laughs> haven't done this side yet. But it's getting there. I presume they've, they've got all the heavy stuff off and then just got this side shining, but it's looking good. Anyway, again, another completely random video. Uh, Ellis Machinery or Amtrak, Amtech, what they call it now. Still can't get used to saying it. And if you mean then looking around the turf show, turf machinery show, which I think is still on tomorrow, so check it out. Don't forget to check out James' channel, Machinery Nation, as well, where he reviews all different tools and stuff like that. And then obviously back in the yard looking at Shiny Combine. So that's all for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you made this far, click like. Don't forget to subscribe. We might be 100,000 by next week, hopefully. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow.